why I get punished for being in the middle here? Yes, you do. Big oh brain play. Gosh. This is our big brain play. You're going to like get uncomfortable halfway through. You're and gonna I'm going to have like, to move. reposition. It's going to uh -huh. make a whole lot of noise. Yeah, I know. It's going to make a ton. See, Hayden's got this superior strap. Like, that's a comfortable position. No, you're, I'm not going to get uncomfortable, that's a though. Very, no, that's a painful position you're in right now. That's I, gonna, I can sit in this after position for hour? hours. Really? I can sit in this position for hours. Like that? Yeah, I can sit in this position for hours. <sighs> Anyhow, we'll see. Hello, greetings, everyone. To uh, deep thoughts. Welcome to deep thoughts. I am Owen. No. Oh. I am. Try again. I am Hayden. Try again. I am. The bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, um, I am Ben, and this is Owen. I am Owen, and this is Hayden. Hello, Hayden. Hey. Man, got to really use hey. that. Hey. A little more. A little more. Hey. A little more. Really use your, hey. use your diaphragm, you know. Yeah, yeah, make, make sure, make sure, <laughs> make you, make sure you get a, uh, you know, prepared. Hey. Not, that's a little too nah, That's a little too deep. Speak, speak from the chest. Yeah, not, not make sure make sure you have heart in it. Yeah, you, you need your heart from in it. the heart. No, from the chest. From not, the chest, not from the throat. Not from the throat. Is the heart chest. in the chest? No, no, it's like no. kind of it, it's it, it's here. in a little corner in the um the thing. It's kind of it black, also has you know, no whatever. effect on your vocal cords. Nope, so. none at all. It might. No, it doesn't. So nope, just, not at all. Really, just push it. Doesn't even affect emotions. Actually, it's just a blood pumping machine. Hey. It's about as good. All right. All right. All right. Hello. Uh, happy Christmas, humans. Uh, this Merry is, Chrysler this and is, Hanukkah this and is, uh, and this is, uh, this is uh, this is uh, did, <laughs> what's the other one? <laughs> Joy is there the another world. one? There's another one. Oh, Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Oh, yeah. Actually, Merry Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, and Christmas. But specifically, this one comes out on Christmas Day, so so Merry Cri so, Chrysler. Uh, if you celebrate the other ones, um. Good for you, but as we don't care. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next year we'll do a Hanukkah episode, not a Christmas episode. Mm -hmm. We'll do, we'll do, we'll do a Kwanzaa episode. We'll How about do a that? Kwanzaa episode. We know nothing about Kwanzaa. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know nothing over. about Kwanzaa. I know a little bit about Hanukkah. I know a little bit about Kwanzaa. Hanukkah. Nothing about Kwanzaa. I'm sorry, very much. If you celebrate Kwanzaa, anyhow. Uh, we've brought Hayden on we here to talk Hayden's about, on. what are you talking about? Uh, just, you know, <laughs> to the microphone. Your, your general holiday concepts. Uh, we're gonna talk about, uh, potentially Christmas traditions, potentially, uh, Kwanzaa. Christmas movies. We're not gonna talk <laughs> about Kwanzaa, because we don't know anything about Kwanzaa. Anyhow, uh, we're gonna try and talk about Kwanzaa, it would last about two seconds. Kwanzaa. And there you have it. All right. Do you know the date of Kwanzaa? No idea. Is it in December? I think it's the day after. Christmas. I think you know. I think it's in January, right? I think it. I think it's maybe it's like a season. I don't know. I think it's I a season like it. in January. I'm but not it exactly starts sure. the day after Christmas. Interesting. Now I know nothing about Hanukkah either. I know a little bit. I know it was like. Candles. Yeah, no, I know about the candles. The I don't candle know about anything else. Candle didn't die for like eleven days. I and think there's it was eleven days. The dreidel. Because there's eleven candles. Spin the dreidel. On the uh, whatever. What do you call it? What's the candle holder? Start with an oh. M. Um, I think so. It's on the tip of my tongue. Mm-hmm. Somewhere, on that tongue. Somewhere, it's. Mm -hmm. No. Might be uh, in your heart. Mm, no, no, no I don't think it'll be in the heart. To the heart. Yeah, honestly, um, I don't know where you'd think the heart would do with just a blood it, pumping It's machine. called the menorah. The menorah. 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 I knew it started with an M. Hey, Ma, get the menorah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry. That's <laughs> not what they say in Ben's house. Anyway, um, I'm very um, sorry to anyone that got offended. <laughs> by an Italian accent? <laughs> I mean, I guess. What? I don't know. Some people get offended by Italians. The Italian mob is going to listen to this be like, they're talking about a culture. Vinny, track them down. I'm a little bit Italian. And by a little bit, I mean like... You're very much Italian. Very bit. much Italian. My my uh, my grandmother, or I mean my Nuna... Uh, there you go. She likes... Say the Italian word. <laughs> <laughs> she bakes me lasagna a lot. <laughs> no, no. I'm uh, joking do though. Do you get like Italian Christmas gifts, like that, or specifically? I get not normal bone cookies. 
You get what? Bone cookies? <laughs> like we talk about this as in as bones or made with like bone marrow? No, it's like in the. I don't even know why they call it bone cookies, but my grandma makes them every year. It's kind of like I swear we've talked. They're about brittle. This. They're we like brittle. They have like not bone, not bone cookies. We have, I we swear. Never. So they're brittle on the outside and chewy on the inside. Oh wait, we have talked about this. Yes, we've talked about. Was this. it on the podcast? Though? I don't know. I don't think it was on the podcast. But this conversation has definitely. It happened. has definitely occurred at some point. Bone cookies. Bone cookies. Um, they're pretty good. I enjoy them. Um, some it's a very acquired taste because it has a lot of spices in it. Um. And like not much sugar, but like. Do you know if that's like a- Italian or is that just something that is made? I believe it's something. I'm not exactly sure. Because that doesn't sound. It doesn't like sound Italian. Italian. It sounds more. It sounds more like Indian if it's like yeah. spices and all. Well, who knows? Um, I know that we make a lot of Italian food over at my grandmother's house for Christmas, which is about to happen, which I'm really excited about. Oh yeah, you. Eat- <laughs> Eggplant parmesan. Are we gonna just end up doing the same thing? Doing no, Thanksgiving? no, no, just no, no. Ten minutes talking uh, about your food problems. Egg, eggplant parmesan, chicken parmesan. Uh, oh my gosh! Baby. Then there's also spaghetti lasagna. We have uh, two loaves of bread usually. Amazing. Actually, she makes more than that. She makes a lot of bread. There's don't a lot of bread. Usually have like meals specifically for Christmas. Like my my parents usually make like a uh, breakfast casserole. Well, for the morning, and that's about it. My grandma, my grandma doesn't. And then y'all don't eat the rest of the day. We don't usually. Well, we do, meet. but we 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 never. It depends on whose house we go to for Christmas later that day, because that yeah, depends on who makes it. It's we don't really have like a tradition. Well, see, I don't usually. My grandma doesn't usually see us as well as our um, grandchildren and stuff like that. So whenever she does meet them, our grandchildren. You have your grandfather been. Anyhow, is there my, something you need right. to tell us? Anyhow, my grandma doesn't usually see our family very often, <laughs> um, and so normally whenever we come over it, for anything, she just cooks a lot, and it's pretty great. Uh, um, awesome. Yeah. So you know, I love it. I love it. Anyway, back to Christmas. Do you have any Christmas traditions, Hayden? I do. Um, Maybe relating to food. To food? Um. Well, not really. You know. You always gotta have like a nice honey baked ham somewhere around mm-hmm. Christmas. It's the it's, who ham. Yes, who ham. The who ham. Who roast beef. <laughs> the who beef. The green eggs. The green, the green eggs. eggs. Yes, of course. The who hash. The who hash. The who hash. The who hash is How my favorite. The who, hash? <laughs> who could forget the who hash? But every morning, my dad makes pancakes. Every That's morning. Nice. Every Christmas morning. Okay, I was about to say. Oh, my mom makes French toast. A lot toast. of pancakes. My mom makes French toast. I know what you mean. That's good. Yeah, it's just like It's that. really good. It's um, really good. And Christmas Eve, we'll go to my grandparents. And they're not Italian or anything. But they, just, <laughs> they just make spaghetti, and we just like it. So the Spaghetti's good. We always vote um, spaghetti. I have like, someone... you want, should we make spaghetti or ribs? And every time I'm what like, do you spaghetti. Well, I feel, what, I, what kind of question is well, that? Well, I feel bad. Because it seems like they want to make the ribs, but then like everyone else then is like... Then they can make the ribs for themselves? But then everyone else is like, spaghetti, and you know... Yeah. yeah. I, I'm like, I'm not complaining at all. Um, I, had I like a, the spaghetti. I had a kid earlier... That told me that Chef Boyardee was an authentic Italian food. <laughs> and I got so offended, no. I almost flashed on him. They use the same noodles, <laughs> sauce, and meat for everything. And they just shape it. I was, gonna, I was gonna flash. I swear, I was gonna, gonna punch gonna a kid. Flash? I was what gonna does that punch mean? a kid. No. I was gonna punch a kid. That sounds, bad. That sounds better. <laughs> punch a kid it sounds a lot better than flash a kid, Ben. Oh, goodness. <laughs> nah, I wasn't flashing a kid, I was just flashing. There's a different. <laughs> What does that mean? What does flash mean? Then? Flash means I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, you know, uh, boom, boom. Just say punch. Anyhow, I've never heard the word <laughs> flash be used to ever as punch. I've heard it a lot, honestly. Where? <laughs> My work. Your work. My work. Maybe they're not talking about punching, Ben. I did. <laughs> I did. I did. Um, hear. Um, maybe they're not. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow. Um, what I was going to say, <laughs> what I was going to say was, uh, we have a tradition where we usually kidnap someone, we send them off and then we go catch him. Um, and then we go beat them to a pulp. It's kind of fun. It's a great family exercise. It brings you closer together. Um, I'm going to stop. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need you to explain to me hmm? in great detail, the process that you go through. Yeah. Every year, yeah. 
to kidnap someone, well, send them off, and then catch them. Well, no, we, so, basically, my grandmother's house is, like, you know, fenced around mm-hmm. with gates, so, like, nobody can get out unless they have the passcode. Mm-hmm. So, basically, they're just running around the cage. Um, the person you've kidnapped? Yes. How do you find this person? Uh, we basically, so first off, we have golf carts. We use golf carts, you know, we drive off with the golf carts, we go catch them. Um, we do give him about a, um... We give him a head start? Yeah, we give him about a 30 second head start. It's so you let him know he's gonna get kidnapped. Yes. It's more fun that way. What if he's, like, outside his house and he just runs inside? Um, what do you mean? What is the point? What's the point of what? The kidnapping. I mean, it's fun. Is this a Christmas thing? Yeah, it's Christmas. Where yeah. did the, how did this it's start? It's like pin the tail on the donkey, but to you know, kidnap you know, a kid and beat him. Not to a kid, kid, but it's oh, more like a, just a person. A person, like a weak person. I mean, mm. kidnap strong. Have people you been before? kidnapped before? No, I've never been kidnapped. He's never been kidnapped. We do get you. weapons. It's not like you get weapons, like yeah. real weapons. Yeah, like weapons. does the person survive? Mm, sure. Um. Sure. All right. Does anyone else have Christmas traditions? <laughs> well, let's see. Do, what do y'all do to get into the spirit of the uh, of the season? Well, you decorate the Christmas tree Correct. and the house. Uh, you go look at lights. That's Break usually the, the last. That's your usually enemies. you go look at lights around <laughs> okay, the neighborhood. Good. That's usually like, the last thing you do. And you listen to Christmas music. Should should the should the tree ornaments? Be sentimental or be like that theme you stuff, want. you know? We have both. Both, yeah. We have sentimental themed and then just basic ornaments. That's good. My mom threw out all my sentimental <laughs> ornaments. <laughs> Why? So I made a bunch of ornaments for my mom when you were oh, little, like the little when, kid I, when, I, when I was a little kid. But like they were actually good ornaments, were right? They? Like they were made. It was like a glass ball. Oh wow! And like I painted on it and stuff like that. Yes. And did she, you make the glass? I didn't make the glass. They no ours. Ours I made were like in kindergarten, and like paper with mm-hmm. like a little string right, around right. them. That's like. Actual ornaments. Uh, um, My favorite one I made was a glass ball, and we stuffed it with like green fur and a red heart. That was three sizes too small. Oh, that's so cute. Um, nah, but mine was a glass ball. I painted like my name on it, and then like I, I like drew a little picture with the paint. It wasn't a good looking uh, ornament. What did you draw? I mean, the the guy getting kidnapped. A dead person. Yeah, no, obviously. Anyhow. I just drew, like, little patterns on it, right? And I gave it to my mom. She loved it. She was like, I'm going to keep it forever. I was like, okay. And then she, um, this year when I was putting up the tree, I was like, hey, mom, where's uh, my Glass ornament? Ball. Where's my ornament? And she said, oh, it must be lost up there. I'm like, uh. So she lost what? it. Yeah. So I mean, she y'all doesn't. Just, y'all just moved in. Yeah. So basically. So she didn't throw it away. She threw yeah. it away. That's you know, that's a me. big difference. Y'all just moved in. She There's probably me. in a box somewhere. My mom hates me. Of like deeply cinnamon stuff. Yeah, we she want kept, a resolution. She found my brothers. Really? Well, they were in the same box. I think she would keep yours if she kept her brothers. Maybe she has a secret Christmas tree somewhere, and and it has it your has nothing but your on a mat. and a little plaque that says the idiot's tree. <laughs> <laughs> She just doesn't want you to know about it because if you find it, uh, she will be the victim of the next kidnapping. She would be. <laughs> <laughs> no exception. Um, Nobody's safe. Honestly, what we were thinking was somebody in this room, but you know what? 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 Hmm? Wait, what do you mean someone in this room? There's only three of us. It might be easier if it was somebody in this room. What do you mean? Kidnapping is a very, very uh, complicated. Uh, Not really. No, it's it's kind of complicated. No. Know. No. No. Okay. I've done it a multitude of times. Anyway, I figured out who the person is, so uh, we can just kick back and continue the <laughs> continue what we were talking about. I just want to say real quick, uh, you can't do this without me, Ben. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Um. And, um, uh, you guys ever seen Christmas movies? <laughs> of course. 
I watch one a day. What? Yeah, Hayden does like Hayden. Okay. What? <laughs> I want you to explain what you do. I have. Is this the second year in a row you've done it? Yes. So I've. I'm crafting and perfecting a schedule of a Christmas movie each day and their placement in the season, um, if they're worthy to be placed, and like what specifically defines a Christmas movie. I thought you just watched one every day and you gave a rating out of 10. Oh well, yeah, I'm, I am doing that, but that's just more for like the the public, like so, the public good, you know, so spreading Christmas cheer. You're creating like a a list of like the order you should watch them. Yeah, so like a Christmas. Is it story. like increasing in like Christmas spirit? Uh, I mean, there's not really much. It should be. There's two that are set in stone. I think there's a third one I want to set in really? stone. But Nightmare Before Christmas. A Christmas story. Be is before Christmas. on Christmas yeah. Day. Christmas, Christmas, morning, specifically. Christmas morning. Morning. Christmas morning. It's a Wonderful Day. Life is Christmas Eve. Okay, what Have I you hate. seen the musical for Christmas? Uh, Day? No. It's not bad. Don't worry, I had to watch it. I had to watch started. it for a uh, theater class last year. Don't Do you not started like it? On the Wonderful Life. I heard Wonderful oh, Life. And no, I, no, no. Okay. On the Christmas Story musical. I've, I had to I've watch heard it. of it. It's, I've heard uh, of it, yeah. I had to do like research on it, but apparently like it's the major award. They, in there. Yes. It's <laughs> such a good song. It's when the dad gets the, the lamp and he's It's a song. And he, yes. <gasps> and he gets it. It's like, what is it? This. And he's like, It's a major award. <laughs> and he runs outside and he sings it. And it's like this big like Broadway musical thing. That's beautiful. And it's the best song in the whole thing. That's amazing. And it's um, it's it's so good. Alright, I'm watching it. But I did like Find research on it. I did like research. Yeah, you have to watch and do a review. But I did like research on it for this for the class, and apparently they like it's pretty recent. Like I think it was it in the two thousand. I, I think like, it was in the two thousand where they released it. But they like aired it instead of the Christmas movie, and like no one watched it because of it. And yeah. Because of that, because of low ratings, they thought, oh, this is just a bad thing. We're not going to show this anymore. So now, like, I don't know if they really show it. On air I'm anymore. I'm going to try and find it. It's on Amazon Prime. Oh, there we go. That's where you can watch it. It's it's not bad. And the third one, I think I'm going to set in stone. Well, you mentioned Nightmare Before Christmas. That's always like a November what? film. Whether, what? whether what? Yeah. No, it's a Christmas film. It's, it's, the, it's, bridge, a, it's, in it's the bridge Halloween between and Halloween and Christmas. So you watch it right in between. Here, you should watch it twice a year. November 1st, November go. 30th. Soon. That's that's weird. That's a weird thing. It's both. Um, it puts it right. What about what it's about literally the like half Christmas half? Halloween. What about that? I forgot what the name of it. But with Robin Williams, the Santa Claus. Um, I believe it's Robin Williams. What? No, it's not Robin Williams. Um, the Santa Claus movie. I always get them. Tim, Tim Allen. Tim Allen. I the know. Series. Yeah, the series. Yeah, yeah. Now, which one specifically? Because some of them are better than the others. Okay, I don't like two. I don't remember two. So that's, two is that's, that's, definitely that says the, something. the one that's What happens in two? It's like... Isn't that Jack Frost? No, no that's, that's third. third. That's, that's the, the third. Fourth? The second one? No, there's only there's three. Only three? That's the third the one. Second I one, like that one. That hey, one's good. That one's good. The second one, he's like in full swing. He's like, I'm, I'm getting... Is that where he gets now. Mrs. Claus? Yeah. Yeah, that's one. They're good. like, you need to have a wife. And the third like, one, they have a right. baby, and it's all exciting. Yeah. And the first one and the third one are good. The first one's good just because, like, they're introducing it. The first one's always good when they're introducing something, and then the second one dips, and then the third one is either a dip yeah. or good. The third one's good. third one's good. I, I like, like Jack Frost. Thing. I love Jack Frost. I love the all the other characters. Did they have a fourth one? I, no. I thought they did. I guess they didn't. No. It's just the three. The fight between Tim Allen and... I'm on and, that right now, uh, actually. The fight between Tim Allen and Jack Frost is one of the best fights I've ever seen. Um, there's punching, there's just screaming, the concept, there's kicking. Just the whole, like, the secret room and stuff. I, I like that. Yeah. Just, it's, it was like, it's magical a good movie. snow. Uh, what is it? Snow, wait, what do you call it? Globe. This? Snow globe. I blanked for some reason. <laughs> so I have the list if anyone is interested. Yeah, I have a few gripes with your ratings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, speak to me about them. Uh, Home Alone, you gave like a 6 out of 10. Wait, what? <laughs> because I want you to explain yourself. Please okay. explain. Home Alone is extremely iconic and extremely uh-huh. essential. It's great, but 
for me personally, it's just not one of my favorite movies. Why? I think it's personally. Explain why it's I Have you seen freaking two, three, four, and five? Uh, yeah. And now Come the on. new one they're making? I've only seen one and two. Those are and the ones I, that matter. I don't like two at all. Two's okay. Because two. It, I, I want you to watch the. Home Alone 2 is an exact copy of Home Alone 1. So is three, but four, and five, an, and I don't like that. I think that's lazy. <laughs> Except it's even worse because they get new kids, and it's just yeah, right. That's no, lazy. Worse. But I like at least with two, they actually tried new stuff. Okay, they repeating but things. you're exactly. talking about number one, the original. We're number not talking about two, right, right, right. number four, number five, just, number six. I think it gets kind of overplayed, and like I think it's a great movie, but like to for me personally. It's not one of my favorites. It's literally just a kid throwing a brick at adults. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. It's great, but it's... If it's I had, violent. If it I had reminds me it, of cartoons. If I had to put it in like Did a... Did you rate it in terms of it being a Christmas movie or it no, being no, just no. a movie? No, Being a movie. Okay. Cause I yeah, could, yeah, no. As a Christmas movie, it's a ten, it's like a 9.5 yeah. out of 10. Because but, like, it doesn't focus on the Christmas elements, but it's still set in Christmas. Yeah. And like, it, it's just it's definitely essential. Like, if you had to put a list it's of, like, like... It's like in the beginning of December that you would watch that. Mm-hmm. Because that's not, like, high Christmas spirit. I put it, yeah. I put it near the beginning, I think. But any other complaints? Uh, you gave the Santa Claus, like, f- six or so. Oh, that's definitely because I watched it so much to the point where I'm like, eh. Well, that's, that's not a fair judgment. Yeah, no, that's not a fair judgment at all. I, it's just based that. on the normal movie. It'd be like if I judged But Master also, of the as Skies. far as, like, normal movie, it's, it's okay. It was an old It would be movie. like it's if, I, if I judged, like, it just Master feels of the Skies, I watched it too much. It just feels kind of basic, you know? Mm. Like, well, that's yeah. probably because you've watched it too much. It's like if Owen... What, what's, what's your favorite movie? Don't ask me questions that include the word favorite. I can't answer. All right. Well, it'd be like if you watched your favorite movie and then you went to go rate it. You're, you're biased because it's your favorite movie, but you've also well, seen it so many times. Well, I also think it's also just basic in general. Like, it's like, it's charming, it's sweet, it's Christmas, but it's it's also just, it's basic. <laughs> but, okay. There's not much, there's not a whole lot of depth to it. I no, like. I get that. Um, it's a Wonderful Life. What did you rate that one? I haven't watched it yet, but I really like that movie. Which one is that again? It's the one where George Bailey, and it's like, it's very old, and his life just like sucks and keeps getting worse and worse, and he's like, all right, I'm going to kill myself, and then an angel shows him what life would be like without him for everyone, I don't know and he realizes that. like the meaning and value of his life, and I hate that movie. Why? Just because I have bad memories associated with um so, I had to sit next to my brother for an hour when I was a little kid. How terrible. Watching this movie. Oh, no. No, no, no. But after we watched that, he he acted like we were in the film. <laughs> was there, like, a brother relationship? So, the brother in there, like, the little brother fell into, like, a little ice cap and, like, started drowning, yeah. right? Yeah. And one of the main plot points is that the big brother grabbed him and, like, saved him. Yeah. But if he was dead, he wouldn't have saved him. So, like, Arthur, Arthur, my brother, basically, um, he, like, threw me in a closet <laughs> and, said, and said, all right, so I'm going to act like I'm dead. You're going to be in here for a few hours. <laughs> so I was in there for a little bit. Well, that sounds personal. That, that's I can not understand related that. to the movie. That's a personal problem. Oh, and you would like it. Would I? I think so. But you should watch um, it. that movie has a meaning to me that I value and hate. In um, that's just because you got thrown in the closet. What's the one where uh, there's like the little girl who meets the real Santa? I think that's Miracle on Thirty Fourth. Yeah, yeah, that's Miracle on Thirty Fourth. And they're like the every time. What is it? Every time is that? Well, that that's an answer. That's an answer. Wonderful. Every time a yeah. bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Uh, the miracle on thirty fourth. That's when Santa gets arrested. Yeah, yeah. So Ben, do you have a favorite? Since Owen doesn't. A yeah, favorite Christmas movie. Yeah, yeah. Um. So I believe when I was a little kid, I thought it was Nightmare Before Christmas. That's a great one. Just because. In the end, you get Jack's redemption story. I don't think I've ever watched the movie all the way through. 
Are you serious? I've seen most of it, but I oh. I don't know if I've seen all of that it. That movie is so good. Like, I think I've seen all like, the Halloween parts. I don't think... I don't know how much of the... Because I, I know they kidnap Santa. They kidnap Santa, and so... I don't know what happens after that. So basically, Jack does Christmas for Santa, and they make a sleigh, and he starts giving presents. And it's a disaster. But because, mm-hmm. because it's in Halloween um, town, all of the uh, presents are, like, scary. So, like, you know, if you got, like, a jack-in-the-box, there's, like, a clown with a knife that pops up, and he, like, tries to slice you. You're, like, Rubber Ducky chases you. Yeah, Rubber Ducky <laughs> chases you and, like, other stuff like that, right? Um, and so he hands out all the presents, and then people are like, he's a he's a menace, and so they shoot him down. Yeah, the government <laughs> shoots him down. And then he falls, and he's you like, should, you should it's really it. good. It yeah, is I don't really think good. I've ever seen the ending. Though. And then he fights Boogeyman. Oh, that's such a good Oogie fight. Boogie. The Oogie yes. Boogeyman. He fights him? He fights yeah. him. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's like a whole thing. I didn't know that. <laughs> and then Santa, like, fusses at him. Santa fusses at him, and then he's like, oh, you're, you're a naughty boy. And he finally, we, we're going to need to put, like, a spoiler warning. Yeah, in this so, video. spoilers. But, um, he, well, they should have known as soon as start talking about Christmas he finally movies. That's also, that's also an older movie, so, like, yeah, it's, it's my it's fault ni- that I haven't seen it. But he, he finally, like, recognizes Sally after she's been, like, crushing on him the whole movie, and he's mm-hmm. just been ignoring her. He's like, oh, you're kind of cool. <laughs> it's like, it oh, kinda, you were here. I'm in love with you now. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Um, Disney logic. But no, it's basically, there's a scene, and it's like, I don't, I don't know how it was put, but basically he's on fire, right? He is? Um, yeah, no, no. Basically, he's in a Santa costume, his Santa costume's burning because he got hit by a tank. Um, the tank brought yeah, they literally down literally launched like a mortar uh, straight yeah, at him. Yeah, they, oh they, they, they launched a I mortar I thought you were joking him. when you said they shot him No, around. they shot him no, back. They actually did. He's like laying on the ground. He's like, he's singing the song like, is this what like life is meant to be? And then he stands up and he's like, like hanging on like this statue in a graveyard and the gra- like the statue's crying. And then he, then he gets up and he's like, I'm the skeleton king. And then he goes, I'm going to go save Santa. And then he beats yeah, the crap basically. out of Boogeyman. It's really good. Yeah, I've definitely never seen the ending of that. And it is so good. It's just like an immediate resolution. He's all like, what have I done? Oh, yeah, I like Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then oh, yeah. Boogeyman, Boogeyman straight up, he's got Santa in his clutches. And Jack's like, um, I'm going to defeat you now. And then Boogeyman's, everything's on fire. And Boogeyman and... Jack are fighting, and then Jack grabs a thread and pulls Boogeyman's sock sock off. <laughs> it's just a sock. It's just a sock, <laughs> and then Boogeyman's now just all bugs, and bugs. he's like, yeah, yeah he's like, yeah, yeah. I'm melting, Ugh. I'm melting, and then he dies, and then and then Santa steps on the About bug and kills Boogeyman, like the last bug. Yeah. Oh. And then Santa scolds Jack. He's like, "Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you Next kidnap time me? You meddle in someone else's holiday. Uh, yeah, make Think it your own. <laughs> Think about it." <laughs> and he's like, "Give me that." And he like grabs a hat and he puts it on. And he's like, "All right, I'm gonna go save Christmas." <laughs> and then all the kids that have the scary toys, Santa's like, "I'm gonna fix this." Boom, and it's all fixed. And Jack's like, "Oh my god, it's mm, great." Like that. And then um, Santa goes to Halloween Town, and they're all like, "Yay!" It's, it's over. Yeah, they bring he brings them snow, and they're all like, "What's this? <laughs> whoa, whoa!" <laughs> you know, it's it's great. It's pretty great. Yeah. So, so uh, that's your favorite. That is my favorite by far. I think my favorite might be the Jim Carrey. Uh, oh, the Grinch. Grinch. I do love that yeah. movie. That movie that's is so good. Jim Carrey plays it so well. Jim Carrey is and like it doesn't necessarily. There's feel so like many. Really good. There's so many quotes from that. Jim oh, Carrey so is a many. really good actor. It's well done. It's just something about Jim Carrey that like like gets you involved with the he's, film. He's very uh, um, animated. Expression. He's very expression. animated and expression. That's not a word. Expression. Animated. <laughs> animated. animated. That's animated. the word. Um, yeah. No, I do love that movie. It's a very very good um, movie. I believe that it really the brings out the, the true personality of the Grinch that the cartoon almost got. I feel bad for Jim Carrey to... though in that Why? movie. It took almost six hours of like oh yeah to and makeup, ready. makeup oh, yeah. and latex and all that other. They had to paint his like almost his entire body green, um, and they did this every single day on the shoot, which is like 
oh, you have to sit there and just mm. let them do it. That, that's painful. Being an actor is painful. Like, yeah, we would know. We would know. We've been in we several major films. <laughs> I had a co-worker that met John Wick. Yeah? yeah. You mean Keanu Reeves? Keanu Reeves, John that's Wick. That's very cool. Yeah. Um, she talks about him, like, basically, um, Keanu, like, walked up to her because um, she was uh, um, an extra and they were going over lines. But, yes. um, you know, I, I thought that story was cool. Here it is. Yeah, Keanu, apparently Keanu is a very um, weird person. Really? Yeah. I thought he was just like a chill guy. Yeah, he's like chill and has like a weird personality. That's funny. Like, like if, if we were all sitting at a lunch table, he would sit off to the side and he'd kind of laugh at the jokes and then he'd kind of just sit there. Um, <laughs> it's so sad. Keanu's sad. But that's what I heard. Do you have a favorite? Yeah, do you have a favorite? Oh, I do. Oh, the Muppet Christmas Carol. Uh, hi-ho, Kermit the Frog here. <laughs> I do love that movie. That it's, is a good movie. I don't think I've ever seen it. Amazing. You need to watch it. More than Nightmare Before Christmas. More than It's a Wonderful Life. I've probably seen like, the beginning of it. It is just end. so wholesome and everything about it is such like a joyful is Christmas that the, vibe. Is that the one with... Uh, no, that's... I was thinking about uh, the one with Walter and... Uh, no, that's no, just a Muppet that's movie. That's just the Muppet yeah. movie. No, Muppet Christmas Carol. This is old. Is oh, that one. The, oh, the my Christmas gosh. Michael I have not I've not seen that in a while. He plays an amazing Scrooge, and he doesn't even, like... Like, he just acts so well with the Muppets. Like, you just feel like they're just, like, that is a really people. That is a really and good story. And Gonzo is Charles Dickens, and he's telling the tale, and Rizzo the Rats with him. And he's just, like, the greatest comedic, comedic... What's the word? Comedic. comedic yeah, comedic, comedic relief. And, um, like, there's an iconic scene where they're outside. I think this is one of the, the best parts. They're outside of Scrooge's house about to go in, but Rizzo's like, oh, I can't find the jelly beans. <laughs> He's, like, looking in the snow, and Gonzo's like, hurry up, hurry up. We're about to, and then they don't get in the house. And he's like, damn, we have to climb, like, the wind, like the wall. <laughs> oh, I remember the that. window. And then, like, Riz is like, oh, I found my jelly beans in my pocket all the time. He's like, you want one? And Gonzo's like, seriously? And he's like, what? And he looks at him for, like, five seconds, and he just kisses his nose. <laughs> and then it cuts. It cuts straight to the next scene. Oh, my gosh. That is such... I forgot about that. Another iconic line. Is this the one that you watched with your girlfriend and she didn't like it? Yeah, no. She, <laughs> she doesn't like that... I don't oh. think I don't think she likes like Muppets. That's a thing. That's funny. You should like buy a bunch of like the puppets and just like hang them up in her room <laughs> while she's asleep. I can record Kermit no. for you. Please do Kermit. Please do your Kermit impression. Uh, hi ho, Kermit the Frog here. You have to say more than just that. Yeah, how are you doing on this <laughs> fine, wonderful evening? I believe I'm doing pretty great. How about you, Hayden? Doing swell. That's wonderful. Can you count to your ABCs? Don't answer that. I don't want to hear it. Wait. <laughs> Can you count to your ABCs? Yes. All right. All right. Yeah, it's my favorite retelling of the, the classic Charles Dickens story. Hmm. And, and I think it's essential. Hmm. Can well you do done. any other Muppet voices? I can't do any other Muppet oh. voices, but I can do, like, what is it, Shaggy? Like, uh, yeah, I'm not, that's I'm not, his name. Yeah, Shaggy. Shaggy. Did you forget what his is name? It? Shaggy. Shaggy. <laughs> Do it. Like Zoink Scoop. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to do so it. So you anymore. can just do the word. I, I can only do that right now. And I can only right do now. that. Um, I, I can't even do Mickey. I've been trying to do Mickey. Mickey's You're tough. Doing, You've done Mickey earlier. in like every episode. <laughs> I have done You've Mickey snuck in every it episode. In. I've snuck Mickey in every episode. Not my not my best yet. Mm. I can, I can do Kermit for about a week before my voice gets tired. I know. Well, it's, that's not like a really strenuous voice to do. No, but after a week, it hurts. It hurts your throat because you have to like why, move. You have to move your you tongue. Know that? You have to move your tongue back ben, to the back ben, of your throat. Did Did you do the Kermit voice for a week? When I was learning, um, doing it over and over again helped. So I did it for a week straight. Uh, I just said, yeah, hey ho, over and over again, um, uh, 
until it sounded good. So, uh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Any other uh, closing remarks? Oh, I, um, Have you so, seen the, um, what is it? The, the 3D, like, animated Christmas Carol? Yes, that yeah. was good. That's also Jim Carrey. Is, is that, that really? Yeah, that's, he does the he does the voices of like I think all through oh well, not all ghosts talk but he does the voices of the ghosts and um, Scrooge in that movie. Mm, or maybe he does do all three ghosts. I don't well, not think, all three I don't because think only the, two. I the think ghost only of one. Christmas Future doesn't yeah, talk, but doesn't Marley talk. is a ghost and he talks. So mm-hmm. I think he does three ghosts and Scrooge. Um, but yeah, that one sounds pretty good. I feel like there was there was a live action like TV. Christmas Carol movie I watched when I was Dreams. really little and I can not find it at all. There's gotta be a live action movie. Oh no, there definitely is. I just don't know how to no, find it. No, there is. I've seen it. I, I watched I watched Scrooged, which was actually really good. Um, uh, I don't I've never seen that. that one. It was so it's a Bill Murray movie and he's like this T V executive and they're making like this Scrooge movie and he's just like you know, he's a typical Scrooge. He's like I hate everything. I hate Christmas. I only want money, you know, stuff like that. And so then these, like, ghosts come visit him, and, you know, it's the typical story. Um, and it, the ending is really great because it's the, just Isn't that scene. the one with the, um, what was it, where they put him in a uh, set? Yeah, he's yeah. in a set. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, like yeah. a TV producer. It's, yeah. a, it's a very modern, interesting twist. It, it but was that okay. movie is so... ADHD, like it's all over the place. It is all over the place. You, you I can, agree with that. You can follow it, but it's like you, you, you gotta don't be know focused. What, you don't know what's going on <laughs> because you'll look up and be like, "Okay, what what's going on now?" <laughs> oh, but it was good. I liked it. Um, are we counting Alvin and the Chipmunks as a Christmas movie? No, no. Well, what defines a Christmas movie? That's then? a good question. Because you did Die Hard on your list. I think it's a Christmas. Die movie. Hard is a Christmas movie. I can tell you why. So, there's another action movie set at Christmas called Lethal Weapon. You know, there's snow, there's like Christmas elements, like, you know, presents, tree, and the whole Christmas season. But if you took the plot of that movie and stuck it in mid-August, it'd be the exact same. But Die Hard's different because there's two reasons. One, John McClane, the hero of the film, is in California... He's, he's a New York cop. He's in California visiting his kids for Christmas, and he's at his ex-wife's Christmas party to, like, I don't know. I don't yeah. remember why he's there. But he's at a Christmas party. Sorry. <laughs> I hit the... Apologizes to the computer. <laughs> and um, the second reason is the, the villains of the movie, Gruber and his gang, they need... It to be Christmas because they need one less security. So it's like I think it's Christmas Eve is when it's set. So they know that not as much security is going to be there, so that they can actually perform the heist. And two, they need enough people in the building at a Christmas party after hours to create a hostage situation to get the FBI FBI involved to turn off the power and break the safe. The um, whatever it's called, the magnetic lock, the electromagnetic lock on the safe that would sh- file in. But anyway, because of those two th- points, I think the plot is attached to Christmas. Therefore, it's a Christmas movie. So Alvin and Chipmunks is a Christmas movie. Why? Because the plot's attached. How is the plot attached? Though? The whole beginning of the movie before they get into the the stardom, it's Christmas time. They sing the Christmas song. Well, what if it was Halloween? Yeah, but it, if it was Halloween, Halloween, if it was a Halloween, Halloween song. Well, then that would change the movie. No, it would be the exact, exact same. same. You're changing the, the, the month, not what happens in it. It wouldn't be the same, because then they go over to Ian's house, and Ian gets him the but see, million Christmas presents. The difference... Oh, the, yeah. And they wouldn't do Christmas presents that's, if it's Halloween. That's true. All right. So, therefore... You have to review Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> I don't have room for it on the schedule. I have the DVD. I can give it to you. <laughs> I don't have room on the schedule, though. Fit it in. I've still we'll got... add a date of the month. I'll, I'll try. We'll push it back. I still we'll have push it back. Polar Express, Christmas Oh, that's Vacation, a good one. Jim Carrey's Polar Grinch, Express. 
It's a Wonderful Life Christmas Story, the Charlie Brown Christmas. Just add Alvin. Um, just add Alvin. Do, just do, add do, Alvin. Do a two-day special. <laughs> Alvin's not a, do, a long do, movie. Do two movies. You don't have to watch all four of them. Just watch the first one. All four what? Alvin and Chipmunks movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the new ones, the, not the old the first second, ones. The third one's set in, like, the summer. Like that's The third one's set in a, an island. Yeah. They get a Chip stranded. Wrecked. But uh, there, there are, like, before that was a thing, and the Chipmunks was just, like, a, a, a band. Yeah. They had, like, the cartoons. Uh, I have to watch Frosty, too. Frosty, uh, yeah. that's a good one. Um, anyhow, do we have any uh, closing? Do we ever have closing remarks? Why do what do you, what do you want question? for Christmas? What do I want for Christmas? That's, that's closing remarks. <laughs> new microphone. <laughs> new microphone. I agree I with that. That is also mine. asking for a new microphone. <laughs> that is great. What about you, Hayden? What do I want? Well, I think I want. I think I want a bookshelf. A bookshelf? Because I moved. I moved upstairs, and at my old house, in my old room. The bookshelf is like stuck in the wall. It's like built into the house, but mm. upstairs there's not one. So I think I want, I want one. Hmm. What are you gonna put on it? Uh, books and and the two He Man figures I still have in that <laughs> box and <laughs> some Star Wars stuff and probably a Rubik's cube. You should you know, put a plate of spaghetti like on there. I might. That way, whenever you're hungry, you, you can, can just have eat a really spaghetti. high quality meal. Yeah, sure. I you can, you can, that way, uh, your friendly can make the ribs, and you can just bring your you can bring the spaghetti. 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 <laughs> Problem solved. As a Welcome. skeleton once said to me, I just spaghetti saved Christmas. Spaghetti is good for you. They were going to make a movie out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Owen, do you hear that? Do I? It sounds like <gasps> snow. Santa's coming. Santa? Everyone, get down. Oh.